Welcome back to Math 171 Precalculus Algebra. In this video, we're going to talk about finding the equation of a perpendicular line. So, first off, just a reminder from high school geometry that if you're given a line, a perpendicular line means that it's going to meet that line at a 90 degree angle. So, there is a little bit of trigonometry involved with finding this. So, the slope of a perpendicular line is actually going to equal negative 1 divided by the slope of the original line, which I'm going to denote m0. So, I do have one that's a little bit more complex than what we did last time, which is to find the slope of a line perpendicular, and we use an upside down t to indicate perpendicular, perpendicular to x plus 4y minus 8 equals 0, and that goes through the point 3, negative 5. So, the line we're given here is not in slope-intercept form, so we need to get it into slope-intercept form. So we have x plus 4y minus 8 equals 0. I can add 8 to both sides. Then I can subtract x from both sides. which I'm actually going to write as negative x plus 8 rather than 8 minus x. Then divide both sides by 4. I get negative 1 fourth x plus 2. So the slope of our original line is negative 1, or negative 1 fourth which means the slope of the perpendicular line is going to be negative 1 divided by that. So, slope of the original line is negative 1 fourth. The slope of the perpendicular line is negative 1 over negative 1 over 4, which we can flip and multiply. So negative 1 multiplied by 4 over negative 1. The negative 1's cancel, and I get 4. So the slope of the perpendicular line we're looking for is 4. And we're given the point 3, negative 5. So, we can use the point-slope form, get y minus negative 5, or plus 5, is equal to 4 times x minus 3. We'll distribute the 4. get 4x minus 12, then subtract 5 from both sides, you get y is equal to 4x minus 17.
So, that is the equation of the line. I am going to go ahead and keep this in slope-intercept form. Now, sometimes you will be asked to put this in general form, which we can do very simply by subtracting y from both sides. And I can draw a better equal sign than that. So 4x minus y minus 17. And then we can change which side of the equal sign things are on. To write that in the form we saw before, 4x minus y minus 17 equals 0. So that's how to do the equation of a perpendicular line. In the next video, we're going to take a look at interpreting the slope of a line as an average rate of change over a certain time period.